Alrighty, so finally got to Aggie. It's like 5.20 in the morning. We left at like, I'd say 2.30. We had to turn around once we got to the outside of town because there was, oh, the server we're going to, the North BP, was closed. They don't open all four and we weren't waiting around for 40 minutes. But as you can see, she's a tad packed at the moment here. It's not too bad, it's like, oh, a fair few boats coming in now, but she's going to be a long walk once you park the boat up. It look, looks like it's going to be a pretty good day. No wind at the moment, so should be pretty mint. Hopefully get some good fish again, like we did last time, with some nice trouts. And... But this time, we'll try not to be trophy hunting, and hopefully get a few more fish. But, nah, definitely should be a pretty mint day. Definitely keen. We got Will back, wet, back out with us again. Getting keen, mate. Yeah. Long meal. And Braid, just like every other time. But, nah, it should be... Should be pretty mint. No, right, too easy. Guess we'll just give you an update once we're on the water. All right. Oh, run, run. Better see Dad's reversing skills. There's definitely a few boats on the water. We're not lie. Oh, here comes Dad. No, you're bad, baby. Oh, Harkin, not bad for reversing skills. What's your thoughts, Will? Not mm, bad. I can push him off. Yeah, just bring him over you wanna, the onto the yeah. sand here. It's not too um, busy this morning. Yeah, I was saying that. Yeah, good reversing skills. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Been doing it a few years. Oh, I better give Will a hand because he hasn't done this before. Here you go, Brad. Hold this. Ooh, that thing's been towed. So don't quit till you get every penny Bring me a shovel, bring me an axe Down in the rubble, up for the task Ready to rubble, run with the pack Bring me the fire We're We just got the drone up as we're going out of the inlet now Starting to get excited A few stuff rounds on the way here But um, just about to open up, head up north Looking forward to it Introduce everyone. Yeah. Jack's on the drone. Oh, Will's here. Great to be able to sleep. The gym. The sleeping position. But I'll hand you over to Will in a second here as we um, get ready to jump this bar. I don't know if we get to jump it, but the Tinnies did. I'm gonna be the last one standing. Oh yeah, I'm gonna take me. Oh, oh. Bring the big 
Oh, just pulling up, see if we can log on my Coast Guard now. Will's lost his phone. I've smashed a pair of glasses. We're off to a crack of morning. The glasses are Jack's fault. He let him um, sit on the floor and let the dive box jump away from him. Ooh, me. So I'll take that out of his pocket money. <laughs> okay, we're all logged on to Coast Guard now. We're um, roughly a little bit over a quarter of the way out, but it's a beautiful morning. Apart from the fact that the swell is just the right size for our boat to fall into every hole we can find. So, Will's over here chipping teeth as we go. Ray's sitting in his bad back. Doesn't actually have a bad back, he just wants to lay on the floor. <laughs> Move that back, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so we'll keep on going. <clears throat> Looking forward to getting out here and having a look at some clean water again. Can't wait, days looking beautiful. Forecasts are pretty good for the whole day, so fingers crossed it all holds. You can bring the steel, and I can bring the big guns. Gonna take the wheel and drive it like I'm on one. I'm gonna be the light, I'm gonna be the key, I'm gonna be the last one standing. Oh yeah, I'm gonna dig, I'm gonna dig. So we've just got out to a spot here. There's a little bit more current than what we thought there was going to be. So the boys are getting their gear on and um, they'll get in the water and have a bit of a look around. And we'll see what's going to happen. Just as I get towards this point, it seems to be backing off a little bit. So that could be a, a lot better situation for us. But um, yep, we'll jump in the water very soon and we'll soon know if it's going to be a good day or not. Braid's halfway there. <laughs> hey, First time up. Braid's ever put on an open cell. <laughs> found your sunnies. You got them? Yeah, just there. We're good. Okay. Boy's been in the water for about 20 minutes when Jack managed to locate himself a really nice bar cheek coral trout. See him just flicking his fingers behind his gun there to keep him interested. Puts a shot straight through the fillets. Oi! I was just plotting some new marks in that um, I was looking at on Google Earth. I put the boys in the water to have a quick look. And um, Jack's come up with a good fish. Now he's doing his, his general oh. old, oh, I'll wave you off because there's other fish here but I won't shoot anything. I'll just tell you that they're big. And you scared them. He likes doing that. That's his favourite thing. You watch. Oh, yeah, it's in heat. Well, that's a good start to the morning. I'm gonna have to go and get Will. Two seconds. I'll have to deal with our little trout buddy here. Okay, that's the first one in the box for the morning. Like it. Meanwhile, not far away, Will was starting to get to work. Yo! Oh. Lippa, big red throat. Will's just popped up, he's got a fish on. Golly, pretty sure he's calling it to be a lipper. Oh, 
Bloody good lipper. Cracking one. First one I ever speared. Is it? <laughs> good fish. Fuck yeah. Bloody proper one. <laughs> Come well, mate. Ooh. He just sat there, eh? He didn't move. <laughs> just look. Hold him up. Oh, good fish, mate. Proper one. Fuck yeah. Nice work. Jack's next dive, he slides down to the bottom. He'd been eyeing off what he thought was a long-nosed emperor or a big sweetie. <laughs> After a bit of the weight on the bottom here as he's puffing sand, he ends up firing a shot at this fish but misses. Jack did get a little bit nervous about this little black tip reef shark sliding by. If he had to stay on the bottom a few more seconds, he probably would have come straight over his head. Holy. That shark was a bit close to my liking. Unfortunately, after his camera went flat, oh, he had some more success with this note. fish. What? Is it a long note? I think so, yeah. Sure, hold him up. Yeah, I think that's a long nose. At first, we thought this fish might have been a long nose emperor. Then we positively <laughs> identified it as a yellow oh, lip emperor. That was horrid trying to get him, eh? What? It's that a first for Jack, breath, and it's the first time in a while I that I've had one. Out, but these honest, fish are absolutely beautiful eating. Oh. Whew, nice little emperor. But we're going to go back up and get Will. We might um, transfer over to these stuff over here now. Show us what you got. Good fish. Nice. Alrighty. Get a few in the box now. Cut the trout. I didn't really see too many trout. That's what there. Yeah. So the boys have been stuffing around here for approximately 25 minutes now. Unfortunately, on this trip, we're plagued with battery problems on our GoPros. They're awesome little cameras, but sometimes they get into these glitchy modes that can be an absolute pain in the butt. As Will dives down on this nice trout here, just as he's about to take the shot, the GoPro glitches and turns off. He reset his camera, dropped down to the bottom. He got down to the bottom and managed to check in on the fish where it was held up. Soon he was joined by Jack, and the pair of them spent the next probably 20 odd minutes diving trying to get this fish out. He's a big trap. Will eventually got a good drop on the trout, managed to get a hold of him and brain spike him. That made it easier for Jack to retrieve him on the next dive. And with Will's GoPro not finished glitching for the day, decided to turn itself back over to a time lapse to film Jack going down to retrieve the trout. <laughs> Show us look, Jack. Will got a trout caught. They finally got him out of the hole. Hold him up. Nice. Jeez, he was bound in there. Oh. I don't know how he shot him, mate. Boss. Boss just jumped in the water. Ready, pump a good trout. Oh, not trout. Oi, nipper. Oi, you missed him. Well, boat's in neutral. Hey, shut the door back it. Good shot, mate. Alright, go, we'll get another one.
Alrighty, so Dak got at me. Looks like he's got the goodies. Oh, so that's a good trail. Look. Yeah. Hey, good trouty. I've just picked up the boys and we've got a school of dolphins coming straight at us. So the boys are just about to slip back in the water and see if the dolphins will swim all the way over and play with them. They're looking like they're all just kind of kicking around and having fun. Why don't they try and fucking attack us? What about this? <laughs> they attack your wilt door like a man. Sick, there's so many. <laughs> But I would never trade the bad for all the good times that we had It's all the same in my mind I always dreamed of a day like this I get my camera, gonna capture all of it Strike a pose and take a pic Cause when we're old, I wanna look back and think experience the boys are in the water and um there's a heap of dolphins that just come cracking over here to play with them all these little bottle nose dolphins braid braid got so excited he jumped in without flippers <laughs> I'm circling around me, that's a, just in the teeth on him. I was like, oh shit, we were still with him. After the surprise visit from our dolphin friends, it was time to get back to work, put some fish in the air ski. How's that? <laughs> Brain's just smacked on. Guys, look, buddy. Were you filming? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not just driving around here stealing fish Probably off not. the kids either. No, when we're not. diving on the outer reef, rarely do we anchor the boat. Look, good fish, buddy. Very nice. Not a bad job at all. And pretty sure you're not filming. We take turns being boaty, so that person drives the boat while the others dive. A few reasons for this. Like here, Braid's diving shallow water at the edge of the lagoon, while Jack and Will prefer some deeper stuff. Will's got a nice one. How'd you go? Okay, well, while you just work around the little ones, that's what braid shot. It's very important to pick up fish in a timely manner too. Definitely don't want fish attached to yourself or your float line, the number of sharks around these reefs. Here's a few clips from the day's diving and we'll show a clip after that of um, Jack and Will having a bit of drama with the sharks.
Late in the day, the sharks definitely got a lot more active, with the boys losing some real quality fish to them. Even the small black tip reef sharks were starting to take fish. And as you can hear here, Jack was very supportive of his friend. And although the boys don't sound too nervous about the whole situation, it was time to call it a day. Oh, we've had a great day. Just um, packing up now, heading home from the reef. Boats in a complete and a pig sty again. Seems to be a bit of a um, constant these days for diving trips. But um, we've got a two hour steam back to Agnes. So, well, <laughs> Will's got a bit excited there. <laughs> So, yeah, Braid outdid himself today. How many did you shoot, Braid? Two. Two. Wash your face. <laughs> On your bar, mate. Yeah. 187 hours. Jesus. Where yeah, so now we'll, um, yeah, get home. We'll um, have a bit, a bit of a look tomorrow. We'll clean some fish and um, we'll work out what we're going to do for a cook up. I oh, know. What are you keen for a cook up? Hey, what am I keen to do? Yeah. Um, I reckon trout. Trout? <laughs> with a side of trout. <laughs> that was He's going, going with a popular choice. Steam trout. Steam trout? Yeah. Chino steam trout? Oh yeah. yeah. We haven't done that for a while. Might do, do our Chinese steam trout recipe. It's pretty nice. I'm sure or not. Yeah. Alrighty. So, mate, run for it. I've got to buy a new sunny too now too. This is what happened to mine after the um, dive box landed on him during our bouncing little run out this morning. So, they've, um, you'll probably see me in several pieces of footage with each falling off. So, alrighty, let's do this. Let's get home. We need more ice for our trouties. That gives you an idea there. Photo finish to get back before the sunset. So, idle up the ramp now. But hey, get ourselves sorted out. Get the boat on the trailer. Head for home. In need of cold shower, beer, and pizza. In that order. So, awesome day, Buck. Got an esky full of trouties. Boys did well. Well, we might bring Will again. He shot plenty. <laughs> That's if he wants to come out. He's a bit worried about how much the boat bangs. <laughs> so, uh, 
Yeah, I need a chiropractor. <laughs> It was almost dark by the time we pulled up to the ramp. Definitely a pretty sight, but coming back into the lights at Katrina's bar. So we just got done cleaning the boat and filling all the fish. So we're going to cook up a pretty easy recipe tonight. Dad's going to let me do the chefing on this one. So first up, we're going to put some rice into the pot. Yeah. Alrighty, so we're gonna be cooking up a bit of sticky rice. All I put was one cup of rice and two cups of water. And then you put the lid on it. Yeah, cook it up. Alrighty, so next step is we're gonna get some steaming water on the stove, preparing for the trout. In that water, we're gonna put some of our shallots, off cuts, ginger, garlic, and salt. Everything's all prepared now, the trout's about to go on to the steamer. All the, the ginger, the salt, garlic, everything like that's all in the water now. The shots are being prepared. So we're going to start laying this trout out. Does this one go on like? Yeah. Alrighty, so we're going to let this steam for about 12 minutes and then hopefully they should be ready. While the trout is steaming away, we're going to, we're going to heat up some sesame seed oil and we need this stuff to be really hot. Alrighty, so our trout isn't too far away now. In the meantime, while waiting for that, we're going to start plating up some rice and getting it ready. Trout's off and we're ready to finally plate it up. Just sort your shallots out onto your steam trout. Then we're going to cover with a generous splash of soy sauce. Now, the finishing touch is to sear it off with some smoking hot sesame oil. Going on, little dudes. While well, Jack finishes cleaning up his mess after dinner, this is chill and chilly. You say hello? <laughs> All right, Brad, grab him. Uh, let me use it. <laughs> You're pretty cool, little dudes. Stop running up my arm. Brad's just taking him into his bedroom. Nice. 
have a roost in the bedroom that they sleep in. So they don't sleep outside. Hey. Alright, up you go. There you go. Now I'm putting a bed. Uh. Alrighty, so that's our Chinese steamed trout. You've got to try it, it's a pretty easy dish to make and it tastes pretty bloody good. It tastes good, bro. Yeah. Looks a little bit greasy, we went a bit overboard with the testing oil, but apart from that, beautiful. And um, we don't have any chopsticks at the moment for some reason. So we really use forks. <laughs> but yeah, Chinese steamed trout, it's actually like, it's the only recipe I know that, well, it's only coral trout that'll go with this recipe, but it's effing beautiful. It's a really good tucker. Yeah, it is. So, kids love it. Proper. One frame like something that's not just fried fish. <laughs> guys. Alrighty guys, stay safe, have fun. We'll see you on the next video. But bye. See ya. See ya. Oh, you make me wanna talk.